Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with a two inch brush and some blue, a little touch of brown, and black. And let's come right up here to the top and just drop in a nice little sky. Maybe not too much sky in our painting today. We'll have some nice clouds. And maybe that sky comes down and it stops right about there. Notice how it gets lighter as it comes down toward the bottom. All right, set that brush down and I'm gonna pick up a clean brush and we'll just blend it. This is taking out all those little harsh brush marks in there. It makes it all even. Next, we'll load up a one inch brush with some white. And let's drop in some clouds. I'm just gonna focus on the outside shape of the clouds and just do a little circle with that brush. That gets the paint to come off right along the outside edge there. And then gently blend it back. Let it work back and get softer. Maybe there's a little bit out here. And kind of in this area, there's just a nice big cloud. Kind of just hooks up together and, and it makes one big one. So we'll just drop in some paint like this. With the knife and some black, we can come right up here. And let's drop in a nice mountain. In fact, our mountain today It'll kind of come straight like that, kind of a flat looking top. And it'll come down this way. Yeah, something like that. And then fill it in with very good dark paint. Now with the knife, we can begin dropping on some nice highlights. I'm just using the small edge of the knife today and I'm running it up and down vertically across this mountain. And I'm getting all these nice cracks and rough areas in the rock. Maybe this is a cliff, it goes straight up. So we'll run the knife right along, highlighting it that way. Make sure all your angles are, are going up and down. All right. Don't cover up all your dark. Leave a lot of the background showing through and don't push too hard. Just a gentle little push. Now, before we go too far on this mountain, let's float a little cloud right over the edge of the mountain, just like this. Be very careful. Make sure you have a clean brush and reload quite a bit. That helps to really soften that edge. And we should do one over here too. Just do it the same way. With some black on the knife, we can drop in some very dark shadow areas. I'm just rubbing vertically, just like we did on the highlight. Rub it right into the canvas. We don't need too much paint on here today. See how this really adds a lot of contrast to that mountain? Really makes the highlights stand out. Anywhere you need a little, little extra contrast, just drop a shadow in. Very, very dark. It's deep in there. Not much light hits this area. Now with the fan brush and some black, we can come right up here to the top. And let's drop in one last little mountain. In fact, maybe this is more, more like just a little bit of rocks there and kind of, it kind of turns into one of those rolling hills. And it comes forward like this and pushes that mountain back into the distance there and comes down. And stops right about there. Next, we'll load up a fan brush with some black and blue. And let's come right over here 
and start painting in some evergreen trees. Now I'm just going to use the corner and work them back and forth. We're going to be painting in several trees today. So maybe we'll just tap like this. We'll get kind of the indication of some trees in the background. And we'll just bring out a little bit of detail in a few of them, like maybe this one right here. Just use the corner of the brush, tap down, create all these nice little limbs. Maybe we want one right there. Tap and work back and forth all the way down the tree. There. All right, I think we need, I think we need a big one. Yeah, maybe right about there. Kind of figure out where you want it and just drop it in. Back and forth. Very dark. We're going to come back and add some highlight. For now, we just want dark. Now we can drop in a little bit of water. So I have some blue on a two inch brush and I'm just pulling right across. This reflects what's in the sky. All right. That's probably enough blue. We'll go right into that, that color we had on the trees, mostly black with a little bit of blue in it. We'll just pull down. And this will give us a nice dark reflection of these trees right in the water. Look at this. So quickly you can create water. Very easy. Just pull down, pull straight down, and then lightly across to give your water a nice wet and shiny look. Kind of smooth everything out, make it look even. Now with the filbert brush, we can rub on a few little patches of snow here. I'm really just cutting right in under these trees. Rub gently with that brush to blend it in. There, make sure it's, it's sort of sloping down toward that water because the water always goes to the low point. All right. Look how if you rub it just a few times, you automatically create a little shadow in there. Come back with a little bit of pure white and stick a highlight right out on top. Now with the fan brush, we can tap on a few little shadows. This is just blue and white. We'll tap right along, mostly the left side of the tree because the light's coming in like this. These are going to be the shadows. We'll put some highlights on in just a second. This is snow that's really piled up on these limbs. So try to aim for the top of the limb. You don't have to get it perfect every time, as long as you do it most of the time. Down here where you can't tell, you can kind of just make it up as you go along. Now with the fan brush, we can drop on just a few little highlights to these trees. Just touch and let your br brush work all the way across the tree. And maybe let's do a few over here. We don't have to highlight every single tree, just most of them. With the filbert brush, we can drop on some nice details, like some rocks with snow here in the foreground. This really helps to kind of finish out the painting, make everything look more detailed. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website and also my instructional DVDs. And thanks for watching.